We have the one and only, the great Dinesh D'Souza, political commentator, conservative filmmaker, New York Times bestselling author, and of course his latest, his latest documentary, Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party is now the highest grossing documentary of 2016. Dinesh, never had any doubts about that. Congratulations, my friend. Hey, thank you so much. I'm very happy with the film. It's uh, not only the top film of the year, it's now entered the top 10 political documentaries of all time. Uh, we just passed uh, Michael Moore's iconic film, Roger and Me. So there was a little delicious pleasure in doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, look, I, 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 we have this segment and, and, and the rest of the and next segment as well. So let, let me just ask you, I don't know if you were aware, if you were hearing me before this latest controversy. Let's talk about, before we get to, uh, to the things in your documentary and the, his, the actual history of the Democratic Party, the media coverage. Today, they're accusing Donald Trump of calling for the assassination of Hillary because he said at a rally that uh, if Hillary's elected, the Second Amendment will go because she'll appoint Supreme Court justices and no one could do anything about it. And then he said, but maybe you Second Amendment people can. And he said they claiming, you know, what he said was uh, he meant politically speaking. And of course, now you got the, the CNN and the other media outlets going wild. This is total protect Hillary mode. How does Donald Trump overcome any of this? Well, I think, Steve, the, the key thing with Trump is he needs to recognize that these are the forces that are arrayed against him. I think he probably recognizes that. But given that, I think what he needs to do is mobilize the forces on his side. I mean, let me give you a small example of this movie. Uh, the attack on Trump, as you know, is that he's a racist, he's a xenophobe, he hates immigrants, he's a fascist. Now, are, we made a movie that, that explores this theme. Which is really the party of bigotry? Which is the party that actually enslaved people, actually segregated them, actually brutalized them, actually lynched them? Which was the party that was actually in bed with the fascists in the 1930s? Uh, isn't it true that JFK went to Nazi Germany and came back effusive with praise of Hitler? Isn't it true that FDR was full of praise of Mussolini? Here's what I'm saying. Our, our movie gives intellectual ammunition, historical authenticity, and psychological credibility to the counterattack for Trump. Yet, mysteriously, we haven't heard a word about this movie from the RNC. I mean, if I was Michael Moore, the whole Democratic Party would be behind me. But mysteriously, here, our own team won't get behind a movie that's making a case against Hillary and the Democratic Party. And, and why is that, Dinesh? Why is it that, first, first question, they're not doing what you're saying they should do. And the same is true of them not getting out there and supporting Donald Trump while at the same time berating and taking advantage of the weakest Democratic presidential candidate maybe ever. Yeah, I think with Hillary, the uh, Hillary's vulnerability is that she is a known crook. I mean, this is why the Democrats were defecting to Bernie. I mean, think about it. Hillary's running against a guy, an out-of-work socialist, sleeping on his neighbor's couch for 20 years. I mean, the, the idea that they had to rig the rules to beat that guy is almost impossible to fathom. So there, there are great vulnerabilities with Hillary. I think even the Democrats feel dirty about bringing the, the Clintons, this Bonnie and Clyde duo, back into the White House. So Trump has a great opening here. The fact that he's an outsider can work to his advantage, but I, I don't understand, and I frankly don't get the Republican Party. I don't know what these people do all day. I don't understand why they would not recognize that we have made a kind of messaging that they can't make. They don't know how to make. And yet, in the, in the, in the public debate here, we are pressing our case against the Democrats. They're flailing. They can't find one fact in the, in the movie or in the book that they can use against us. They can't find one thing wrong with this film. And so all they do is hurl empty rhetoric. So this is an opportunity for the Republicans if they will be willing to take it. All right, let, let, let me ask you uh, this, uh, Dinesh. You know, um, I, yesterday I played, or the day before, I played um, uh, just for, for the sake of, uh, of driving home a message, which is related to what you have in Hillary's America, your documentary. I played Bill Clinton defending Robert Byrd's joining of the KKK while he was eulogizing Robert Byrd, the former majority leader of the Senate, Democrat, of course, uh, at his funeral. I played Hillary Clinton after the death of Robert Byrd, calling, her, calling him her mentor. If any of this was done by Donald Trump or a Republican running for a, such a high office, it would be all over the place. But again, they get a pass for making excuses for and supporting Robert Byrd, notwithstanding who he was in the KKK. Right. So look at the difference between the way David Duke was treated by the Republicans 
versus Robert Byrd by the Democrats. Uh, from the moment that David Duke tried to, uh, to announce that he was a Republican, that he was controversial, the party distanced itself from him. The Democrats on the hand have eulogized Byrd. Now, here's the point. With regard to Trump, he's never going to win this debate with CNN or MSNBC, and I don't think he should really try to do that. Here's what he should do. In my opinion, there are about two million swing voters in this country, and they're in about nine states. Now, I don't have the ability to get my movie to those people. Most of the people going to the theater to see this film are Republicans and conservatives. But Trump or the RNC and the super PACs, they have the actual names and addresses of these two million people. In October, one month before the election, they could drop a DVD of this movie into the mailbox of those swing voters. The effect would be cataclysmic. If you could get this movie in front of Latinos, in front of blacks, it would be discombobulating because it runs directly counter to the propaganda that's been drilled at them for 30 years. So our, in some sense, our side has the opportunity to use this as a weapon, and I'll be super baffled if they decide not to do it. I don't even get it. Have you talked to anybody in the Trump campaign about this idea? It sounds well, like a great idea. To his credit, Trump did tweet out, uh, go see the movie, but I quite honestly don't believe that he, Trump, has seen it yet. I think if he does see it, he'll go nuts because he'll see the power of the movie. Right. Remember, the, 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 the Democrats are running on the, on, the, on the moral capital that they are and have always been the good guys. And that's not the that truth. Stay where you are, Dinesh. We're going to come back more with Dinesh D'Souza coming up next. Don't go away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Dinesh D'Souza, and in a second we're going to play you a, a little clip from his uh, brand new documentary, which is the highest grossing documentary this year and right up there all time. But first, uh, a special message to DirecTV viewers. Newsmax TV shows are moving to channel 366, and that's effective at the end of this week. In fact, we're already airing the show, this one, and our full Newsmax lineup on JLTV, on DirecTV, uh, DirecTV channel 366. So we encourage you to tune in to that channel and watch us do that now. That's channel 366. All right. Uh, before we get back to Dinesh D'Souza, let's take a look at a scene from Hillary's America, the secret history of the Democratic Party. It is my judgment. Dinesh D'Souza was sentenced on Tuesday to spend eight months in a confinement center. It all began when the Obama administration tried to shut me up. You know, gang's all about stealing, man. What did I learn? All crime is about stealing. The big criminals are still at large. Didn't uh, see any reason to keep them. The system doesn't go after them. Because they run the system. All right, and Dinesh D'Souza rejoins us. And uh, Dinesh, again, congratulations on the highest grossing documentary of 016 and uh, right up there in the top 10 of all time. And, and you're not finished by a long shot. I love your idea of having somehow the Trump campaign coordinate with you to, to get this uh, movie out. And I, I hope, you know, I hope you can get that to happen. If not, you know, I, I, will, I would certainly throw that at, at my sources and see if, if you need my help, please let me know. I'm sure you don't, well, but I'd love to, saying, uh, I'd love to play a part in that. that. Yeah, go ahead. What I was trying to say was that the movie strikes at the moral capital that the Democrats always draw on to claim legitimacy right. to rule. Uh, so the moral capital is that we Democrats have always been the good guys. We have fought on behalf of women, of Latinos, of immigrants, of the little guy and the ordinary guy. We're the party of civil rights and human rights. We fought for the blacks. Now, nothing could be actually further from the truth. Uh, and so this movie, in a sense, by stripping away the veneer, the pretense, of sort of being on the right side of history, it essentially uh, reduces the Democrats to all they got is Hillary. And with Hillary, you basically have someone who has this sordid track record um, and someone who Trump, I think, can beat uh, if he was able to, uh, to unmask the Democratic Party and, and the forces behind them. Dinesh, I, I, this is something that, that uh, really uh, I find to be very troubling. Uh, you know, if I were the candidate, or probably if any other Democrat, a Republican were the candidate, they could, I think, easily beat Hillary. But you know one thing I would do? At every rally, I would have in my hand one line from each of the worst emails that were, that were exposed at the DNC. The racist one, the Jewish one, the one that made fun of a black woman's name, the homophobic one, the one that made fun of Latinos calling a chili bowl or something, taco bowl, whatever. And I would read 
that one line from each of them, and then I'd say Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and today Hillary campaigned for her. Debbie Wasserman Schultz right. had to resign, and the first thing Hillary did was hire her. But the, Trump doesn't do that. Nobody thinks to do that. Why? Well, here's the thing. If you did it in isolation, people would be, would be puzzled because they would go, wait a minute, the Democrats are supposed to be the party for minorities. We're super puzzled that they're making all these insulting references. That's why it's important to show that from the beginning, the Democrats are the people who threw the American Indians off their land. The Democrats are the people who were the party of bigotry. So the party of bigotry hasn't changed its spots. That, I think, is the powerful theme that Republicans should stress, that despite what the media says, the Republican Party is the party of emancipation, of fighting segregation, of blocking the Ku Klux Klan. The, the, the Republican Party is the party that voted in greater proportion for the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act and the Fair Housing Bill. This history is very important because it is the, the well from which Democrats claim, if you will, their ethical credibility to rule. Absolutely. Let's get to a phone call, Dinesh, uh, uh, at 1-800-NEWSMAX, uh, and let's go to Mary Rose in Melrose Park, Illinois. Hello, Mary Rose. Hi, Steve. Hi. Uh, I wanted to make a, a comment with uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, with the, that terrorist father sitting, you know, in the back in the stage. If they did not know about it, that that's a lie. Of course they know. Well, let's let uh, Dinesh again. I don't know how much you heard and what you've been doing today, but the father of the uh, the uh, the shoe. And by the way, it's eight seven seven Newsmax. One eight seven seven Newsmax is the number. Uh, it, the father of the Orlando shooter was seated right behind in the crowd, right behind Hillary in Orlando yesterday. Uh, the campaign says they knew nothing about it. He says he was invited by the Democratic Party. And, uh, of course, he, the media won't point this out, even if they talk about that, he has done videos supporting the Taliban and saying that God will punish gays. So uh, that should be the news today. But, unfortunately, it's, you know, Donald Trump, they say, threatening to, to have uh, Hillary assassinated. Yeah, there's no question that all kinds of extremists and radicals find a comfortable home in the Democratic Party. You know, when Bill Clinton gave his kind of fairy tale Rapunzel account of Hillary's background, he left out a whole bunch of dangerous characters that she's been associating with from a young age, including, by the way, Saul Alinsky. And while most people focus on the radicalism of Alinsky, in this movie and in the accompanying book, I focus on the gangsterism of Alinsky, the fact that Alinsky was a petty thief on the streets of Chicago. He figured out robbery schemes even when he was at the University of Chicago. He then got in with the Al Capone gang. So it's kind of amazing to think that the current president, Obama, and the aspiring next president, Hillary, have both been tutored at the feet of this uh, self-styled gangster. Yeah, and th Mary Rose, thank you. And, and uh, by the way, she was offered an internship by uh, Saul Alinsky, and she actually turned it down to do something else. So uh, we associate, uh, uh, we say Obama read the book, but Hillary actually knew the guy. Uh, Dinesh, uh, where can people see it right now? Talk about your website the and the whole thing. Yeah, the, the book is, of course, available everywhere, including, I'm happy to say, Costco. The movie, go to Hillary's America, the movie.com. You can watch a trailer, and if you plug in your zip code, it'll tell you where the movie is playing near you. Great. The book and the movie, Hillary's America, The Secret History of the Democratic Party. Dinesh, proud to know you, proud of what you're doing, and, and I know you're proud of, of what you've accomplished. And, and keep it up, my friend. We'll speak to you soon. Look forward to it. Thanks. All right. Dinesh D'Souza, ladies and gentlemen.